Okay, now that the spring is in the books, how do you assess the way the defense progressed this spring? And what do you guys have to do as a whole heading into the summer, looking ahead to the fall? Uh, I guess for, as far as defense, uh, this has been a <laughs> spring that I've liked very much. It's something on the defense that's just really just clicking. Like, I know last year we had a great season defensively, and this spring, something's really just clicking as far as just D-line. We have a lot of chemistry together. We. Know how to, we know how to play with each other. We, we're just playing well, know how to scheme. Know how to scheme against every offensive line we play against, and you know, we're just doing a very good job. And as far as going into the summer, we just need to really just need to stay focused. Uh, skills and drills, need to really hone in on that. Just hone in on the technical stuff. Stay, stay, stay in shape, that's the biggest thing. The biggest thing for all of us, just stay in shape. Stay moving, don't take, a, don't take an entire week off just not doing anything, you know. Stay up, stay moving, stay, get, stay active. Stay in shape, that's my biggest thing. You already thought about how much fun it's going to be when you get 11 and 8 back in there too? Yeah, I mean, they, they've they been at every practice. They've been walk, they've been at every walkthrough. So the, I, I expect them when they come in to get hit the ground and keep moving, keep hit the ground and get running. So I, I, I do expect to be very excited when they come back, as exciting as it is now. So, yeah. You think about how good you guys can be, next year, you know, considering the speed at linebacker you got in the secondary. Oh yeah, it's a. Uh, we last year we had Balin and Skowski, and those they, they those those guys knew the game by the back of their hand. They knew they knew how to run the playbook. They studied the other the, the other team's offense all day every day, and they just knew exactly how to play. And the linebackers we have now, they're very athletic. They very very good instincts they know how to react to certain movements on the old line they know how to react to different routes and coverage and i have you know great great expectations for them and i know they're gonna be good ski said the other day that you missed a few plays last year mm -hmm. how do you get those few plays to where they're instead of misses they're sacks um that's kind of one of those things when you talked about like it's not the big thing that everyone sees is the pebble in your shoe that's kind of the big problem it's those little things that it's those little things that I've missed on those plays where it was, I was just standing up too high when I was bending the corner and I couldn't redirect, uh, just get low. Other other times it could be hand placement, stuff, just small stuff that I need to hone in on, which I think I'm honing on this all this spring. And I just can't wait to see how it is when I, how, how, how those things kind of work together during the season. What do you try to get out of a spring game when you can't bring the quarterbacks to the ground. Did you accomplish what you tried to get out of it? Um, yeah. Honestly, what I'm trying to accomplish in the spring game is what I try to accomplish every day in the spring. Just see if I'm progressing better in pass rush against the run, knowing the instincts, knowing the down and distance, knowing what type of plays the offensive coordinator likes to run, and really just trying to get better on all aspects of the game. Is this defense good enough to win the national championship? It is. I do believe that. What makes you confident in that? Uh, honestly, just the chemistry that we have on the D-line and in the secondary, Co Coach West, he does a good job communicating the coverages, the blitzes that we are going to be running this year. And they, they do a great job of staying in the playbook, knowing what to do when the play is called. And I, I just do, I do believe this is a championship caliber defense. Miles, what was it like having Coach West in charge instead of Coach V? Um, I mean, it's, it's a, at first, it was kind of an energy change a little bit. You know, Coach V is very, very rowdy, loud, you know, likes the aggressiveness. And Coach Woods is the same way. He's not he's not going to be the one to yell 24-7, but he will get you He will get you a defense that is very loud, very aggressive. And we still get to the ball. So not, as far as the goal of the defense, nothing has changed. We're, we still want to be aggressive. We still want to hold every team to zero. So the goal, the goal is still... The main thing is still the main thing. Was this a good uh, spring session to kind of get to know what's going to be ahead with Coach West and Mickey and and, and Nick Eason yeah. on the defensive line? It was this entire spring. It's it was kind of new, but a new adjustment that I loved honestly. And it's just been such a great spring for us, and I just can't wait to see what's ahead. Miles, do you think you guys have found an identity, or are you still looking for one? No, I think we I think we most definitely found an idea. We're just trying to bring it up out into the light, honestly. We're just trying to find find pretty much what what we we know what we're good at. We're just trying to make that thing, those things that we're good at, great. So that's our biggest thing.
what did you see from some of those younger guys that are coming in, the you know Torianos, the Sherrods, you know making plays as mid year enrollees? Honestly, the same thing that I've been told when I first got here, just really just buy into the program. Don't rush, don't rush anything. Just if you're not playing right now, trust the process. You will, you're gonna get playing time, and when you get playing time, when you get that, when you get that time to show what you can do, go all out.